just moved here. Just moved here from Calgary. It's great. I love this city, though. Just talking to a guy in Calgary, though. He's like, why are you moving out there, man? All the jobs are out here. Besides, you know the women out there? They don't shower or shave. So? Neither do I. I don't know what it is, but I think I just like a more natural type of beauty. I like, you know, it's a natural woman. I got a refined taste. I got the palate of like a 50 year old man. I like my coffee black, my whiskey straight, my pussy hairy. That's what I do. That's what I like. You know, I don't even talk to a girl unless she's got a noticeable bump on her trunk. Oh, oh, oh. You know, you'll find me on the streets advocating hairy pussies. I'm in the drugstore. It's like, put the razors down, ladies. Put them down. Beautiful. Beautiful the way you are. And I just came from, uh, you know, this four day hippie festival. All of them. Wild out. All types of women there that I like, you know. So this one girl stumbling out of a porta potty with shit running down her leg. I'm like, oh my god, it is messy in there. But she was hot, you know, so I tried to hit on her. Oh. You know, it's really jab to the confidence when you get rejected by a woman smelling like shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I met, you know, I met a lot of nice people down there. I met this group of lesbians. And um, they're fantastic. I don't know, I, I don't like to brag, but, you know, I kind of think that lesbians like me. <laughs> no, they're not the hot ones, like the butchy ones. I can never get a Portia, a Portia de Rossi, but, you know, the butchy ones like me, you know. I think it's because I'm a little feminine, you know. I got my hair cut at salons. <laughs> I buy shoes that are uncomfortable just because they're pretty. And I wear women's deodorant, but that's a personal thing. That's a personal thing. You know, I got into an argument with one of these lesbians one night. They're talking about how girls are better at giving oral sex because they're familiar with the parts and they know what they like. I was like, nah, that's bullshit. That is bullshit. It's like saying if a rich man and a poor man both find $10 on the street that the rich man is going to spend it better because he's accustomed to money. No, 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 no. He's just going to put it in the bank, you know, waste it. Poor man's just going to go buy some speed, do a couple rails, stay up for three nights. It's going to be a blast. Come on. Not to compare your pussy to old $10 bill found on the streets. You know, after she said this, I was convinced I needed to, I needed to pick her up, you know. All night I was, you know, trying to hit on her to no avail. It's getting late. Everyone has gone to bed. She was getting tired, so I had to pull out. My no fail one liner, my golden ticket. You guys want to hear what it is? Yeah. yeah. Look her straight in the eyes. It's like, can I give you oral sex for three <laughs> hours straight without forced reciprocation? <laughs> well, there's no fail. How do you say no to that? I don't care who you are. You could be a 60 year old homeless transvestite with a cold sore and it's still gonna work. You cannot say no. You can't. You know, so it worked, of course. Of course. No, it worked. How do you say no? Three hours is a long time. <laughs> I'm like an hour and a half into it, I'm checking my watch, like. <laughs> no, she caught me, so she looked down and barked. Stop looking at your watch! There is no end. This is a deer hunter, bitch. I was like, ah! It's like scary. She's a scary type of woman. She's the type of woman that on her Facebook she says she's interested in both men and women. Like, ugh. I just post that up for everyone to see. You know, I don't care what your genitals look like. Just throw them at me. Throw them at me. I'm non-discriminate. I like them all. And I'm not that I'm homophobic or anything. I have a couple homophobic friends. They just ruin everything. Ruin everything. We were going to a bar recently with a bunch of my friends. It was kind of a new, posh bar, kind of trendy. One of my friends is like, no, man. I want to go there. Last time I was there, I saw two dudes in the corner making out. So, you know, I don't know, maybe it's just me, could, but, uh, you know, it could be two guys sucking dick next to me in line to get a drink, and the only thing I'd be worried about is the bartender serves them first. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what am I going to do to get a drink around here? Wear a v-neck? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been so mad at your woman, though? So mad at your woman that you had to go out and beat up a midget? <laughs> you, know, you never hit a woman. You never hit a woman, but, like, one time, my girlfriend got into an argument. She's like, you're so defensive. I'm like, no, no, I'm not. She's like, look at you. You're so defensive. I'm like, no, I'm not defensive. Like, look at you right now. You're being defensive. I'm like, no, you always have to get the lot. Went back and forth for a half hour before. I was like, bitch, I'm not defensive. I was so pissed off. I like drove down to Ohio to find that dude from Little People Big World just so I could take out his crutches and stop on his fucking pumpkin patch. I hate him. What was his name? Warwick Davis? 
this? Uh, I shouldn't make fun of him. He was great in, in uh, Willow, was it? <laughs> All right, thank you, everybody. Morgan O'Shea.